Eh? There we go. Okay. So that was a direct... my uh, direct X crashed. So... We'll see what happens this time. View the journey so far in the Codex to see a breakdown of your character's unique personality, relationships, and key story choices. That's nice. I don't know. Ugh. Have to check it out. Now, oh, now I have to redo all this. Uh, I don't actually have to watch everything. Scott, is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. I'm also going to look it up to see. It just means process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam, where I can get my subtitles. My Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. You keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Okay. Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in true stasis anymore. Right. So parts of the body could be waking up. But others aren't. We can't be sure just yet. What about food? We can run an intravenous line into the pod. I don't see anything on um, how to change that. Journal. Okay. Codex. Gonna make all of these uh Oh there we go. X. Mark all is red. That was nice. Settings. I still just want subtitles. Oh here we go. Ah, Field of view multiplier. And yeah, we'll just leave it as is. Yes. Okay. Uh, during a priority mission, auto saving occurs automatically at checkpoints. Great. We'll do. Okay. I'll start slow and go from there. Alright. Hopefully, we don't have a. Uh, Direct X crash this time. Okay. Hey, up here! Whatever hit the arc fried everything. We have to balance the power motor and it explodes. But we don't know where the fault is. Ryder could find it. He has a scanner. Quick Ryder, use it to locate the fault. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Press G. I'll override the safety. Got it. There's no indication of a fault in this component. Hurry, keep looking. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it. Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? There. It's reset. I can do it. We routed the turret now. Readings are in the green. Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Yeah, I didn't. I don't suck. Ew. Objective information is listed in the mission tracker, top right of your screen. Yeah, kind of, kind of typical. Kind of typical. Hey there. That was close. Okay? Barely an Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. Let me the adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. 
Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Is that you too? Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other ARCs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Hmm. Side with my dad or side with her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. Technically, she is the captain, so, you know, get your ego out my of it. God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are on there. We're maroon. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Your guess is as good as mine. We may be related, but I still haven't figured him out. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. Except I'm I the need cavalry. an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll wanna get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. We scanned Andromeda. Everything was in the clear. How could things change like that? Ryder? Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition. But my dad won her over. 
I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship, her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. I'm not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? <laughs> Tough to say. Sensors can't get a read on the planet. Well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah. It'd be a shame to go through all this training and not put it to good use. See you guys in the ride down. Oh, is that the music? That's the music. Hey, give him a helmet. Got it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expect. First contact protocol. In the event any member of the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it's imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated. And Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Team field manual. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in a new galaxy. Team faces many challenges. Golden World Site Verification, Recon and Mapping of Unknown Territories, Planetary and Celestial, Scientific Analysis and Discovery of New Phenomenon, Potential First Contact with ETs, Establishing Diplomatic Relations with Local Inhabitants, and General Support of Settlement Outposts. Okay. I got it. Alec Ryder's Locker. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Hang in there, Sarah. Can't actually open it. This is stupid. Hope I won't need this. I only got a pistol. That's it. That's all I got. This is dumb. Door's locked. This is the captain. I still need an update on our sensor array. Please report in as soon as possible. We'll turn the music back on. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz, commonly known as granite. Better not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Oh, come on. Okay, so how do I look at my... Oh, I got everything? Okay. Codex. We'll just mark everything as red. Oh. Item limit, 6 of 50. Okay, that's good to know. 1,000 AVP. Andromeda victory points, I have no idea. Oh, Nexus level. That's Nexus level. Scott Ryder level one. Next level in 1017. Oh, so just another boring day at the office, huh? If it was, this wouldn't be any fun. I can't wait to find out what's down there. I know what you mean. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. 
Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. <laughs> and maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Dr. Carlisle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will. They'll remember we didn't give up. That we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. We've been waiting 600 years for this. I don't remember he gets cool guns and I get a pistol. Archive here, this is Shuttle 1. Switching to manual guidance. Shuttle 2, taking your lead. Good luck, Pathfinder team. Tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, stay clear of it. You can see it's already taken damage on the front. Get some shop here. Gravity anomalies detected. See if I can even it out. Stomach would appreciate that. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Good to meet you, Liam. Hard to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. We'll head us dead ahead. A giant rock. Holy. Shuttle 2, are you seeing it? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Oh, yeah. Is this Pandora? We're done. That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion. This is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force. 
Leaking. Why can't I do that with my car windshield? <laughs> training. I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra incognita. Some right. of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? 67% probability, probability of plant life is photosynthetically inefficient and possibly carnivorous. Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? I'm not sure we want to find out. Damaged in the crash. No good to it. Storms here don't seem natural. There's our comm device. Oh, and safety tip. Don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. <laughs> Don't breathe the air. That's just on fire, so that's cool. Scanning unknown technology and life forms earn you, earns you research data points. Spend RD at, res at a research center to unlock new weapons and armor. Okay. You think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this? Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Place. 
Planet's trying to murder us? <laughs> Look, something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. Here be dragons. Cora will love it. Yeah, 30 research did fuel cell. Alright, so we're gonna go up and over. There! We get up that cliff, we find high ground. Come Are you on! Here in front of me? Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. How do I. What do I do here? I don't know what's going on. So what happens if I... Ah, okay, I see. It just... It's just auto pick up. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. And in the breach! I think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. More glowing mushrooms. Are they making that noise? No. Coming from inside the mountain. Detecting a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it. Geological it's fault. All of these mushrooms have like stuff in them. find you I was a cop in crisis response yeah tell you over a beer sometime this is gonna be close that's it we're getting there oh what the Hit by something. Mind making some room? Thanks. What the hell is that? Not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look. If we do this, I feel like that dude's gonna die. If we do this, it's gonna set a bad precedent for the rest of the game. Just be ready if this goes south. It usually does. Just say the word and I go hot. They haven't spotted us yet. Shoot it! He sees us. We can't understand you. Give us our man, or this gets ugly. Go, Shad! What's the other guy? Shit, they're beating him. Ah. Shit, this just got real.
Oh, that's how you find cover. Okay. us. It's a new galaxy. I guess it's too much to expect they'll play by Milky Way rules. They broke the rules in any galaxy. But why go after us like that? Only thing I know for sure, their guns hit just as hard as ours. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Aliens, you dummy. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them. But we might want to scout around first. Alien structure. Something over there. You're the recon specialist. Point in the way. <laughs> right. Looks like you knew how to handle the gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Cryo ammo. Shoot slow. Sh oh, shots slow enemies. And deal moderate bonus damage to armor. Last for the next three clips of the currently equipped gun. Alright. Oh. Take it. Shield capacitors. And incendiary ammo. Alright, we got anything else around here? What the? Oh, is he walking through the fire? Okay. I'm gonna look at the map again. Alien structure, something over here. Oh, okay, objective. Oh no, point of interest. It's a point of interest, okay. Down fast. Hey, thanks for the uh, host, man. Whoa! Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? Oh, no. Well, I don't have Sam here, 
but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Huh. I guess life took a different turn here, huh? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them. But we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist. Point in the way. <laughs> right. Looks like you knew how to handle the gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. All that cryo ammo is gone. Now I don't have it. That sucks. Alright. like that. Okay. That's the last of them. Uh, I can't believe we're doing this. Did Kirkland make it? No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. AR scope. Yeah. So can I... Can I put it on then? How do I put it on? Journal. Imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible, evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you put it that way. Never seen anything like it. Looks to be at least three or four centuries old. The Ox left 600 years ago, right? Yeah. Our long range scans wouldn't have shown this. These structures, that tower, maybe none of it was here when we left the Milky Way.
Optional, locate Greer. Oh, did I not, like, go through here? Weird. Mm, that looks like a bad way to go. Shit, you hear that? I wish I didn't. There, watch out! What is this thing? I think it wants to eat? Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was, how'd it cloak like that? It's organic. No sign of technology. Wow, so the cloak is biological? Yeah. Weird. All right. Good to know. Hey, look, plants going up over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. down there. New and painful ways to die. Maybe we could jump jet our way across. Hover well for a short time. Is that sound coming from below? Uh, alien gods of the underworld? <laughs> Don't say that. I think it's machinery. You can feel the vibration. Oh, the scale of this. Who built it? Alien gods. Zoom in. That's nice. Debris field. Mysterious cave. Another alien structure over there. Okay, I'm going to go back. gear from one of our shuttles. Good. The atmospheric sensor is still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? Yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. And no radioactive isotopes either. So nobody nukes the place. thing. There's a guy. Watch it. More of our friends. They're on to us. Here we go. Ah, oh, that hurt.
That was the last one. We're clear. First species we meet and it's out for blood. Not if we don't give it to them. AR stock, plus 30% rifle, assault rifle stability. Yeah. Okay. Bio disinfectant. Oh, it's just salvage. Immediately reloads all weapons, recharges all powers, and temporarily boosts accuracy and damage reduction. Uh, okay. We'll just we'll just take all for now. All right, let's look at the map again. So that's Greer there. Alright, so we'll go we'll keep going this way. Locate Greer and then go back around to the side before we actually Unknown Technology. Unknown technology. Heard a gunshot. You can climb up there. Shotgun spare clip. Shit! Move on our perimeter! It's an ambush! Oh hell, they got the jump on us! Uh, don't see him, oh. Watch for cloaking! Wow, oh, what the? Man, that is fast, like... Oh yeah, I'm playing on... Super hard difficulty. Oh, what? Oh, and of course I don't have the... Omni Jail Canister.
can't save. So that's Greer. That's an alien building. Turian calibration coil. <laughs> SR barrel one. A oh, sniper rifle damage. How do you just put your weapon away? Oh, okay. Check out this place I found over here. Come on, get up. Okay, so you're over here. Like you can. S oh, I thought like that made it look like there was like things you could jump up, but I guess not. This terrain is like very hard to maneuver around. He gets stuck on a lot of things.
kind of building over here. This place is taking a beating from the storms. Along with everything else. Oof. Alright, as soon as I go in here, I guarantee you there's gonna be an enemy of some sort. Yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. A pulse near areas of interest as you get closer. That's not working. I wonder what's inside. Huh, who knows? Let's call it a weird alien machine. We sure could use Samurai about now. Soft chitin. Great, so bugs. Sniper rifle, ultralight materials one. That's always good. Stasis pod. Huh. What's all this about? Pretty sure you can't use these until after the power's on. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. No power. Didn't mean to cut you off there, buddy. Sorry. Circuit overloaded. 
Even the equipment's out to get us. Weird. If that's poison, I know who to blame. <laughs> and that's all it's gonna be. Optional. One of the things was find a way to access the sealed room. Oh, yeah, the sealed room that I tried to get into earlier. Got it. Classification circuit, universal semiconductor. Kind of research lab, maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. Not exactly poetry, is it? Remnant decryption key. Okay. Can we use to bypass any glyph locked remnant console? Okay. Weird. You hear that? Looks like they were trying to tunnel in. Don't think it's. Uh, watch it! What is this? There. So now killer robots too? Huh. The guests back home would love this place. Oh, it's a dead guy. Pretty cool. His wounds? It's fried. Could be a console of some sort. For that door? Maybe it's closed for a reason? Centuries old. Wish we had Sam. I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. So maybe these aliens found it deeper in, like an artifact. Doesn't say much, other than it's not organic. And it's about the same age as that artifact. You suppose it was guarding it? Could be. Rarified filaments. Reaction displacer. Provides a bonus to one or more stats when used in the development of an item. Oh, nice. Recon specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. Weather's still crappy. All right, I can go straight and then to the right, which is what we'll 
shall do. Heads up! They were waiting for us! Damn! They got our lighting rods up and running! Are these things stalking us? Starting to feel like it! This is not how I go out! I don't think they're listening! This is insanity. No remains, nothing to loot. That's lame. That's what insanity does though, I guess. Toxic environment. Okay. Oh, why do I still only have that much health? A path down the right. You hear that? Yeah, radio static. But like a pattern. Whatever's causing that, it's a lot closer. Okay, I need to figure out a way to, uh... Tapping my mic, hoping someone would notice. You okay? Yeah. Where are the others? They killed Kirkland. But Fisher's alive, back at the crash site. He's got a broken leg. Needs help. I'll check around for supplies. Then head back. Stay put when you get there. 
We'll look for my dad's shuttle. Good luck. Can't wait to get off this rock. Assault rifle damage. Nice. So now we're gonna continue going around this way. We'll get, what's that? Unknown mega structure. Oh boy. Free field, mysterious cave. This opening mission is really big, and I like it. There's a thing. Oh, that's the alien building. This looks like a place to fight things. years ago and then who knows dead animal here and some sort of trap pretty recent too yeah. if it's anything like plants back in the milky way there are signs of cellular mutation it's lasted this long guess that makes it the alpha tree huh yeah but what happened to all its friends outside Going back around this way. So, what's that in front of me? What is that? Waypoint? What? Oh, I see. I must have just like put one on there by accident. Alright, so we're gonna go kill these guys now that we're over here.
Come on, shields. There we go. I also only have 23 shots left. Oh, jeez. One of our ships. Shotgun spare clip. I don't have any other yeah, weapons, do I? Oh. See anything to like pick up and take? Definitely not from the Milky Way. One of this. Think the storm got it? At least the weather isn't playing favorites. You'd think if this was their planet, they'd know how to handle the storms. It's food. I think. Can't be local. Not growing anything on this planet. So maybe they're bringing it in from off world. More of them in the cluster? Not loving that. Okay, so we're gonna go here and then go up to the mega structure and hopefully not die. Oh, this must go to the mega structure. Oh, yeah. Insanity so hard. Okay. I don't like that I can't save. How 
Great. That can't be good. It's not company. Looks like a whole patrol. Don't want them to drag us off like grid. Push them back. Like nowhere to go. Same thing as last time though. Oh gosh, don't walk through this. Don't stuck. Walk through this stuff. Oh great. That can't be good. Company. Looks like a whole patrol. Don't want them to drag us off like grid. I wonder if it would be better to use the pistol at the first part. We'll try that. I'll also come down here. Oh, that's kind of over what I already did. Only one guy left. Got him. 
All right. Made it through that time. Investigate the flares. I don't know where the flares are at. Unless these are the flares here. can't save. I was going to be like, I was just going to create like a save state. And then if I'm not allowed to go check this place out after I rescue them, then come back. What is this? Pretty serious looking operation. Oh, these are force fields there. Okay, okay. We can try this, try this. What do you think is going on over there? Don't know, but no way we're getting past that fence. We should back off. Our people are missing. What if they were captured like Greer? Can't do anything. Seriously, we're not equipped for this rider. Let's go. Okay, so guess we'll just leave. Looks like a way out. Let's make it quick. Hope nobody notices. Quick. Let's get in there. Cora, we got your back. They're trying to pin us down. Doing a good job of it too. Right, light them up. I'm on it. Pick your targets. Plenty of those. I 
Sell that. Calvary to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. Okay. Level up now. Holy crap. We're going to do this one. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I have three points. So this one does... Increases maximum health. Plus two percent max health, plus two percent max shields. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. I'm playing on insanity. I need to get this. <laughs> okay. Um. Military training, what does this do? Plus weapon damage and weapon force. Gets more max shields. Havoc strike. Leads forward and stabs down enemies with its Omni Blade, discharging your power to stun only by enemies and prime them for combo detonations. Well, I don't have any combo stuff, so. Overload. Oh, yeah, I think you have 18 skill points in him first? Okay. kind of sweet. Alright, um, we'll do one in military. And one in defense. All right. Okay. So got all those guys. Unknown technology. Two two Harry. Oh, I missed something in the codex. How is everyone? Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? Barely a word, then started shooting. What about you? We tried being nice. They didn't play along. Charger 1. Compare. I'm 
Okay, so these are its numbers. Rate of fire is faster, clip size is higher. This ammo is huge. I don't even know like what kind of weapon this is. Super inaccurate. Die already, thank you. Okay, so there's still one over there. Shotgun melee optimizer, that's kind of cool. QEC link established. Affirmative, Scott. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. 
Our wounded can't wait much longer. Do you have something in mind? If the storm is the problem, then let's solve the problem. We're talking about weather. And I have an idea about that. Rendezvous with my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Now we can get to go to the big up? alien thing. I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam, Sam, do you have the Pathfinder's path position? Marking the nav point on your map. You go on Doesn't look far. I'll watch Let's make this quick. We have to get there before the storm hits. No detours. Don't let them take me alive. What was my dad scouting for? He was trying to get readings on that tower. Well, the nav point puts him near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Holy crap. Plus 40% pistol penetration damage. Plus one pistol ammo penetration. Nice. Omni gel canister. We're gonna find the pathfinder. Like right now. Nothing for me to pick up. Lame. Anybody coming with me or? Oh, nice. Cora, too. Oh, yes. Yeah, so sorry, Commando. That's always good. Charge is good, too, though. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do one into here. Then we'll do one into a sorry commando. Plus 15 da power damage, power force, power restoration, and defense. Yeah. And then Liam is. I don't know why it said plus for him. Whatever. If all's red. Journal. Completed missions. Locate the Pathfinder. Okay. Sam's right. We don't have much time. Look, the rod. They're drawing the lightning away. If we hunt that wall, they might keep us safe. Dead bodies here! Lightning didn't do this! Neither did we. This is more than we took out. Incendiary rounds! My dad's been busy! He was an N7. They don't mess around. Somebody was pretty clever with these rods! Only way to survive here. Two! If you count shooting on sight, <laughs> My dad's up there. Weird. We were here earlier. Guess he's been pathfinding. Sir. Stay low. Sure. 
trying to use it to like power something. My guess, sort of. Who are these guys? Visitors, just like us. I don't think they're native to the planet. They're not. We found an abandoned lab. Like they've been studying the place. Good work. You actually did some scouting. You didn't think I would? You never know what people are made of. Not until everything goes wrong. <laughs> Plenty of that on this mission. Sir, you said you had an idea about the weather? It's the dark energy cloud the Hyperion hit. It's affecting the whole planet. Interfering with that. The tower is caught in a feedback loop of the cloud. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. It would explain a cave we found. Plant life sheltered from the storm. From that tower. It's a good bet. And I think if we can get in there and shut the tower down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble. But we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. If Scott's game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. The problem is we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. get struck. My lady.
explode. I'm here! Keep the momentum up! Don't let him get the drop on you! Have to keep an eye on our flank! Not if we keep moving forward! Don't let him catch us! How's your dad doing all of this? He's like a machine! No idea, but it's working! Organic lubricant.
One piece. Not over yet. I need to get through that door over there. Flanks. Oh. Watch it. Think I see movement. Moving out. We held them off at the shuttle. We can do it again. A lot of people still counting on us. I'm just getting warmed up. They mean business. Keep them off your dad. Analyzing possible inputs. Twenty-five percent decrypted. Hurry. We don't have long. Hold both sides. Can't let them slip through. What is this place anyway? I don't know, but they sure want it back. Well, 50% decrypted. It's an unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try a recursive search. I will need a moment to evaluate the pattern. We only have a moment. Do it! <laughs> I think I really pissed that one off. Maybe because I shot him in the face. Sir, any progress? Decryption is 75% complete. We've almost got it. your old man, huh? I won't tell anyone. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam, begin translating. A moment. Indexing. Translation complete. Let's see what wow, we it's have. really fast to just translate an entire alien language.
I'll be damned. It's working. You did it. There's hope at least. This is more than hope. It's proof we weren't crazy. We can fly to a whole new galaxy and still make sense of things. Sam had a little something to do with it. It was simply a matter of linguistics, though I am pleased to have it. Oh, that was, that was cool. Uh oh. Bye bye. I don't think you can fix that visor. Repeat, we need an emergency extraction now. They're spinning up the shuttle. ETA is three, maybe four minutes. We don't have that long. Rider's implant is overloading. I suggest a hardwire connection. Do it! There! Welcome back, Scott. What happened? You were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Did the rest of the team make it? Hey, you're still with us. Guys, get to Sam Node. Riders awake. Who are you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. Yeah, those facial expressions I are messed it. up. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. I'm sorry, Scott. I know this must be a blow. He made the ultimate sacrifice. He got the team out of danger. We all owe him for that. He once said that when his time came, he wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam, Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder to authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Scott. If that's how it has to be. Don't sell yourself short. I think you can do it. Cora? It's what he wanted. I won't stand in the way. But being Pathfinder is a serious job. You sure you're ready for this? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> a lot of people here are counting on me. I'll get it done. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. He needs to rest first. He's got two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Oh, I checked on your sister. There's still no change. But if you can pull through, so can she. A bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want us to lose sight of the goal. He said pain emboldens our resolve. He'd insist we grow stronger from his passing. He's angry. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated.
All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. Travel to the Nexus via hey, tram. The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Attention, just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're going to do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. Then move to secondary comm traffic. Got it. I'll follow up with their insecure wing. All stations personnel report to duty station. I can't go through that door. The captain wants to see a full duty roster. I just updated the charts. I want to see crew reassignments first. Start with non essential personnel. Let your teams know that docking procedures are now in effect. We've got 20,000 colonists still asleep. And we'll need somewhere to put them when the alarm clock goes off. As soon as we get clearance from the Nexus, we'll be following stasis revival protocols. We want to avoid any log jams. So it's vital your teams coordinate with each other and keep people moving. Any questions so far? Uh, how do we handle deaths that occurred in transit? Right. It's an unfortunate fact that not everyone will have survived the voyage. We've already got scattered reports of medical problems from that dark energy cloud we hit. If somebody didn't make it, check with the medical officer. We'll see about notifying their next of kin. I'm hoping it's a rare exception. Also, try to keep it quiet. Andromeda is all about new beginnings, not holding funerals. Why is he, like, looking down so much? It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah, rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Locate Nexus personnel. Well, that's not a good sign. That's uh, also not a good sign. I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Unknown. Relocation discovered. Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. We could see what the VI has to say. Plants are still alive. Hey, it's Avina. It's like they didn't finish building it. It's like they never started. Hey, here's a container. Omni gel. Hello. This place should be packed with people. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, 
My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulation. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. <laughs> what can you tell me about the Andromeda galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. <laughs> yeah. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Oh look, a TV. Um. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Scott Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. 
After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are gonna be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. <laughs> I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance.
Equip Director Tan. Additional tasks. Speak with Tan, Cash, Kandros, Addison. Alright, so I'll speak with Tan last. Kesha's office. Great, I'll steal all this stuff before... Oh, she's right there. more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, was killed. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. 
our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Nothing more for now. See you later. My crew's working on it. We've moved the op center to the top of our priority list. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. Out of my way, lady. Ah, information wall. Hello, I'm Jan Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. <laughs> my employee you data. Are Scott Ryder, salary code 19B, active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. <laughs> Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? <laughs> for initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives in Andromeda. Alrighty. That's yeah, probably not the best thing to do. What am I going to do? This is it's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're so it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him.
brothers bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. Then my sister became a sculptor and cousin Irene went pirate on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when we ran into a species we'd never seen before. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. Are the other Turians managing okay? So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. My team ran into some not-so-friendly locals on the way here. Bony Crests, Advanced Tech, Merciless Sons of Bitches. They're called the Cat. We've sighted them on several worlds already. I've seen how dangerous they are firsthand. They could take the Nexus apart. Someday Addison will believe me. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The Ket. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The Ket don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup, if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. All right, cool. Mission funds, 40. Okay. Strike teams. Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn XP, and Ryder will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll only they'll earn. What? Oh, okay. If they fail, they're only they'll earn only a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and can handle critical missions. Select a mission and press space to send Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team rewards for Ryder and additional bonuses. Wow. Okay. Read the description for each mission, the time limit to attempt the mission, time required, 
that a minute 44 or an hour and 44? <laughs> Hope it's a minute 44. Reward for successfully completing the mission and any mission traits or properties. These missions are currently available for your strike teams. Select a mission with space to send a strike team. Check back daily for new available missions. So icon describes the difficulty of the mission. Bronze, silver, bronze. So your current list of recruited strike teams. Select a team with Space to equip them with specialty gear. Require a team or retire a team with V if you want to recruit a fresh team in their place. The more strike teams you have, the more missions you can undertake at once. Select recruit team to recruit a new strike team to your cause. Strike teams animation can earn positive traits if they succeed and negative ones if they fail. Strike team traits can change the chances of success the team has on specific missions. Forty mission funds. Right, so all of these things I can't afford. Let's try this one. Let's try one of these. 74% chance of success. Time required 1.58 hours. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Don't the hand off there. Too small for licits. You'd be surprised. There's also Bervine in the seed bank. Nobody's making Creeper in Andromeda. You'd be surprised. Pathfinder, no time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. The Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. She looks like the Rihanna. Exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. Or oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish. I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable, as our expedition proves. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop, uh, lab, you know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Okay. 
Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened, and I... I need to know. Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a finder's fee. Tempted? Hi, Pathfinder. Want to hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Sweet. Engineering update. We are working on Where's this console? Oh, here it is. Um, what? <laughs> okay. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion source. Right then. I'll uh I'll clip that later. What are we at? Two fifty two. Let me write this down. So we'll go with uh, 2 hours 50 minutes. I'll clip that later and make it a highlight. <laughs> Security footage. Container. Give me stuff. Vanquisher. <gasps> Got a sniper rifle. Right? Sniper rifle? Yeah. I like sniper rifles. See, this is why you don't just like go and do the mission. You gotta go around and find stuff, get jobs, damage control. To Kandros from Tan. As you're aware, there was a mutiny aboard the Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armor, in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. There have been perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising. Supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could step in and draw up an official report. It's imperative we know what we were working with if we were going to survive. Okay. I need my people to focus on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. That said, it was my understanding the exiles were more Calix's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Calix Corvanus may have started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to this task. Sloan Kelly is not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Good, then you won't object to sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the Exiles might have gone. When we do get colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. Okay. 
Forwarding report from the recon team. Trails cold. Found what looks like an abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system. But none with living inhabitants, only graveyards. The conspirator Irida was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Okay. Engineering update. We are working on accessing more power from the Hyperion. All non relevant repair requests are currently on hold until power. Arms merchant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um. Sell all salvage. Okay, um. Oh, these are my items. Vendor items. N7 Crusader. Ultra rare shotgun. 37 Falcon, rare assault rifle. I made Avenger. I want to know. How do I like put my mods on and stuff? Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. What's with these prices? Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible. What with how we crash landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so. Omni Blade 2. Katana. The shotgun. Viper. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilkin Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilkin, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanted to chat with you. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. So when he was killed, people assumed you did it? For good reason. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording, it's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Don't throw in the towel yet. I'll review the evidence. Maybe I can find something that'll help. That would be great. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Speak with Kandros. Okay. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? 
I spoke with Nilk and Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations, go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Based on our status report of 16C, it seems we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector without decent recon and greater intel on this enemy. I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. Risks involved and continued loss of our resources and lives makes it hard to justify. He scaled down expectations again. The Nexus versus Colonist Nilkin, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! It sees the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Nilkin. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Okay, where is Shaw? Cassidy Shaw? I'm Scott Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? I lost sight of Nilkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Friends fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. I appreciate the information. Of course. 
It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's Addison. Need to talk to her. All right. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left yeah, half what is our her genes to come back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk to Kandros if you haven't. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Yeah, this lady's like stupid. She's stupid and, like, severely grumpy, and it's annoying. You've had no colony successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Right, lady. You haven't done anything either, so get off your high horse. Holy crap. generators along. Really? Excellent. I'll let Addison know. She'll be pleased. The 
This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right, I think I should go check on things. <laughs> Nice, nice and out there, fail, Cora. I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Where's my ship? They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Level up, yeah. Speak with Sam on Hyperion. Journey so far. We're just gonna get rid of all of those. Inventory. Two pistols. Assault rifle. Sniper rifle. Melee. Ah! Fusion mods, okay. Consumables. Incendiary ammo. I don't even know how to use these. Blasts for the next three clips of the currently equipped gun. Shield capacitors. Boost maximum shield. I suppose I could look that up in uh, the controls panel. Armor blueprints. Initiative arms. Beryllium, fluorite. Okay. No oh, weapon blueprints. Katana shotgun. We'll level up quick. All right, we'll do assault rifles. Plus 3% assault rifle damage, plus 3% assault rifle accuracy. Here we'll do assault rifles, pistols, 
We'll just increase damage on all of these things. Combat power. I don't really know what combat power means. Specialized training that allows the user to expertly wield jump jets and melee weapons. Oh, okay. Alright, now we'll do sniper rifles. Back. New trip mine turbocharge. Aura. We'll give you one to health. And that's it. We can't do anything else. We'll increase your... Grenade stuff. She only has one point, and I can't spin out anything. Blah, blah, blah. Missing arcs. So I'll talk to him. Oops. Oops. Journal. Completed missions. Okay, priority apps. Better beginning. Allies and relationships. We'll talk to him about the arcs. Nexus. We need to... Well, we're going to be going to EOS so we can find the body. Additional tasks. Scan and drown wildlife. Speak with Tan again. Scan minerals. Find the missing science vessel. Alright. Journal. What am I still missing? I'm gonna save quick. Writer. You may have a less than flattering view of me, but I want to express my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? I'm looking into the Nilk and Rensis murder charge. And? I want to go to Eos and retrieve Chief Reynolds' body. That isn't usually Pathfinder business. First murder in Andromeda, and I'm impartial. Figured you'd want to get it right. Settling an outpost comes first. But I suppose I have no objections. Physical evidence will only bolster the case. The more certain we can be, the better. All right. But let's keep it quiet. I don't want people thinking we're reopening the case. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done. But if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Good luck. <clears throat> it sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you it's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. How did Gene Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Gian Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Kendris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? 
criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Oh, he has a Good for fighting high outlook and on lifting it. heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the initiative? As most everyone knows, Jean Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth, wealthy, young for a human. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. 
but before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. So maybe like the second game then? What do I need to consider in making a planet faces viable? Figured out? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. <laughs> also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. That's all. Thanks for your time. Of course, as you pointed out, we need each other. Our futures depend on each other's success. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that would really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Yeah. Find out why. Be careful. Hello. Yes. Do you realize everyone's okay? All right, moving on. Docking plans. Fully active and engaged. Docking plans. Check for damage. It does live again. How's it going? Andromeda? It's good. Um, the complaints about the uh, facial expressions, though, are well founded. Um, it's quite entertaining, to say the least. Yeah, I got my motherboard. It technically got delivered on Friday, but I didn't get it put back together until today, so. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel.
Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Disembarkation procedures for Hyperion are on hold. Please await further instructions. You had the lab report from hell last week, though? That sucks. That's one nice thing is like my labs aren't that bad. I have a lot of them, meaning like two to three do a week, but I don't they're not that bad. Okay, now we gotta go over to this one. and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. On my ship? She's on my ship! Get on my ship, lady! You were, at, you were at school for 11 hours? Yours is the opposite. Second report we have turned in all semester. Really? Dang, dude. Oh, it's saying it's below me. Got it. Please report to the Hyperion coupling analyst. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. <laughs> and Addison. First yeah, Pathfinder here you can look at her face. Year. All she can do is question your competence. Oh really? What's uh what's wrong with the TA? Yeah. Meeting Addison was interesting. She doesn't know you. I do, and you're doing fine. I appreciate it. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. I'll get right on that lady. Um, yeah, and like some of them, like, I don't know if you've seen the pictures at all, but like some of them, there was one of them, I think it was an Asari. She was just like, ah, like doing that. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, it's like you're having a seizure or epilepsy or something. He doesn't really teach. Like most of the time he does the lab work when we have lab. Then we just get the data later. Oh, that's... Pretty cool. All right, so what are you doing, dude? Popping a squat? Taking a poop right on the deck there? Okay, well, it's kind of glitching out on me right now. <laughs> he's on break, yeah. Look at him, dude. He's just like... He's like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Yeah, some of like, the body animations and stuff are just like totally jacked up in this game and like one of the scenes uh, Ryder my character here was like walking up the stairs 
and his feet were just like stuck in the floor. Like it was halfway up his shins. It was pretty bad. Anybody I should talk to in here? That's just silly, yeah. It's a good thing that the like the gameplay itself makes up for it because it's it's very distracting. Like it's just it takes you out of out of the moment because you're just like, what is going on? Oh, and I I'm gonna make a highlight later after I'm done with this stream. But there was an Asari stuck in the floor. Like her head was just her head was the only thing above the ground, <laughs> and I'm just staring at at her like what is going on there's just a head on the floor and then suddenly it popped her back up above the ground and then she just like walked away it was like what is going on <laughs> so i'll make a highlight of that later though when the stream's over and be like hey uh you fix this yeah it'll be it'll be good zara kellis yes i have evidence you've been sabotaging the nexus what? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni-Tool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. How far am I into the game? Um, well, I've played like almost four hours, but I've really only done like the actual like first mission, um, and now I'm just picking up. I've spent the, like the last forty-five minutes just going around, exploring everything I can find, picking up all the side missions, uh, getting everything ready to go before I actually go out into the world. Oh, also, I'm playing on insanity difficulty, which is the hardest one. So, um, the first mission was pretty rough. It was, <laughs> it was pretty rough, really bad. I did, I didn't play very well. It took me a while to get back into it, and I've also never played a shooter on PC, so it's a little bit interesting. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high yeah, level pretty access fun. for that. Still. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. I'm doing mouse and keyboard. So, I mean, I could do controller, but I, I just want to try it once. I've never done mouse and keyboard um, with a shooter. So I thought I'd just try it. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. I like the, uh, the ability to... It's so much more accurate when you're aiming with a mouse. Um, I'm just not used to it, so... Um, just taking a little adjustment. Good to see you. Word is there's been trouble on the station. We just got here. How did you know that already? Word gets around. Does it now? People talk to me? Anyway, as soon as we establish outposts, everything will even out. I'm sure of it. What about your family? I'm an orphan. My parents died on the Mindwar colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind, but I have friends here too. I love piloting, but I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. Yeah, so right now there's two side quests that I'm actively pursuing. One of them I can't go any further until I actually go to the next planet, and that one's like investigating uh, the first documented murder in Andromeda. Um, 
the guy says he's been falsely accused, and so you have to go find the body of the guy that he supposedly killed or didn't kill. And then the second one is the, la the lady before this one that I talked to. Um, someone's sabotaging a bunch of the systems on the main ship, and so I have to <laughs> drop on the orphan bomb on it? Yeah, man. Uh, I have to, like, figure out who's sabotaging the thing. Why did you join the initiative? Ah, uh, the most popular question on the station. Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? <laughs> Have to go now. See you later. Talk to you later. Well, at least she's got a good attitude. All right, we're going to head back to the Nexus now. Oh, also, he likes to, like, kick his legs up and all over the place while he's running. It yeah, look at it. Hey, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. The animations on here are fantastically funny. <laughs> oh, it's so great. It's good comedic relief when there's none to be had. Oh, what the? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like the muscle's bruised. The good news is the bone didn't break. Oh. Game froze. Okay, this happened earlier. It was a direct X crash. So, just end the game here. Nobody panic. Uh. Yeah, well, the first time it happened, uh, I didn't have Task Manager up, and I actually had to, like, restart the stream because I had to restart my computer because the whole thing just locked up, which is kind of annoying, but... Hopefully it auto saves when you take the tram. Otherwise, I don't know where like my last save point was. Mm, well, right now it's showing me on the Nexus. I think. Oh no, I'm good. All right. good. It didn't like mess too many too much stuff up. Oh wow. Oh, I was like, I thought I haven't been here. Except I have. I just spent the last hour here. Security footage one. This file is useless. Let's check another. Okay. Security footage two. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. Security footage three. This file is also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Someone working for Candros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. But if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. All right.
Negative match. Biometrics do not match. Oh, I think I need to... Let's run over here. I bet she was that guy who kept squatting. Yeah, probably. Here's the guy. Negative match. Oh, it wasn't him. Where's this guy at? What's the latest about waking? Negative match. Somebody. Ah, oh, there, yeah, yeah, there is a guy. I ran Scan right by results him. show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Who is he? Dale Atkins reports to Candros's department, assigned to station security. Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people, killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. So the future Google Glass? Uh, probably. It hasn't advanced much. Still looks pretty crappy. Um, not up to me, or you need to go. We'll do... you need to go. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... you'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave, and you don't come back. I'll leave. Acquired 73 Andromeda Viability Points. Oh, that's what they stand for. Alright, cool. Alright, now we need to go... Alright, I'm gonna kinda run around this area quick and see what there is to do. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to check on my sister too. My sister, uh, her cryo. I think you mean perfect. <laughs> uh, my sister's cryopod got damaged, like right after, like we arrived in the Andromeda Galaxy. So she's just like stuck in there, still sleeping. Ryder. You're not on the bridge, Captain. We powered it down. Can't afford to waste energy. Though Cryo Bay and Sam Note are exempt. And I told them to keep their hands off Alex quarters. You have access now. Thanks. Hey, sorry about your father. He was really good at what he did. Just not so good at working with people. He was right about going planet side, though. 
Uh, oh, yeah, so my sister is still stuck in a basically a cryo-induced coma, and then my dad died. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we arrived in the Andromeda Galaxy. Our ship was immediately hindered and experienced power outages. So we went down to the planet that we were supposed to live on, found out that it was unlivable, and then my dad died when we tried to stop the lightning and a elect giant massive electrical storm from killing everybody else that was there. So, yeah, so it's been a good start. He was a stranger to me. Really? Not like any of us knew him. He kept people at bay. If there's anything else I can help with, let me know. Now that the Hyperion is docked, what'll you do? Normally, I'd supervise thawing out the colonists, but that's been put on hold. I hear you're the one helping resolve the issue. Good luck with that. If someone had told you that you'd be in the Andromeda Cluster, even five years ago... Are you kidding me? I'd have laughed them out of the Quadrant. Although, the way things are now isn't exactly what I was hoping for, either. We all knew there was a possibility on arrival of less than ideal circumstances. When you sign up, you hope for the best, and plan for the worst. Why did you join the Initiative? We're a long way from home. How could I not? I love my job. Coming here, all this, it was just a logical extension of what I already do. Sailing through new stars, discovering new worlds. What self-respecting explorer could pass that up? Thanks for the talk. All right. I have requests to submit, administrators to harass, and people to wake up. I'd better get to it. Good luck out there. And I can't go in there, so that's cool. Dude, what's with all these security guys just squatting everywhere? I don't want to go in there quite yet. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Going to bed? Alright, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Uh, glad you're, uh, Lab is over with. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. See, man. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam. This is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Woo. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. 
So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapero says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. All right, that sounds pretty cool. That log is inaccessible at this time. All right. That log is inaccessible at this time. All right. That log is inaccessible at this time. All right. That log is inaccessible at this time. All right. Let's get off there then. Audio excerpt. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. I am Dr. Liara. Okay, blah blah. Oh, hey, okay, look, here's another. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy and it took centuries to confirm that all members of the species really had died out. While it's possible that living Protheans may be found in a hidden pocket of the galaxy one day, the chances are statistically trivial. Once an extinction is confirmed, the study's nature moves from sociology to exoarchaeology. Yeah! Oh, now what do I do with it? Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders, too. When studying an extinct race, it is important that our preconceptions and current knowledge not color the facts. We must look to the evidence itself. The Protheans constructed the Citadel and an incredible network of Mass Effect relays. This speaks to a culture of the highest order. Such a monumental achievement surely must come from an enlightened race that was in harmony with its people, free of conflict and strife. Without the ability to study a living example, however, this can never be determined with 100% accuracy. Alright, I think that's it. We're in here. Alright, we're gonna go check on my sister. about over there, yeah. Got squatty potty over here still. I'll make it right, Dash. I pro 
Pathfinder. I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome to Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father war. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Legs feeling a little better. Looks like the muscle was bruised. The good news is the bone didn't break. I'm sure the bastards were getting around to it. Fisher, glad to see you're doing better. That was some expedition, hey? Captain said I'm going in the log as the first human to make contact with the Ket. And Kirkland's the first casualty. Wish it could have gone differently. I'm sure there are decent aliens here in Andromeda, too. We just have to find them. Well, I heard you're Pathfinder now. The sooner you figure out where they're hiding, the better. Will do. Chin up. Ryder, good to see you. Damn shame about your dad, though. I'm sorry we couldn't save him. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yeah, but still, we lost a Pathfinder on my watch. Doesn't sit right. My dad knew the danger. Part of the job. Now I just need to make sure your sister here pulls through. Are you staying here on the Hyperion? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? Uh... Ha, right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. What will you do on the Hyperion? We still have thousands of people taking a nap here, and they need tending to. And this way I can look out for Sarah. How's Sarah doing? Her condition's stable. I see signs of REM activity in the brain, so she's dreaming. Means all the wiring still works. How'd this happen? It was dumb luck, really. We hit the scourge at the worst possible moment, just as the stasis revival was kicking in. It's a vulnerable moment, coming out of a 600-year nap, then wham! Circuits fried and overloaded the neural pathways. Don't worry, I'm on it. We're not losing another rider. How did you end up with the initiative? I'm well, gonna have to ask every person this stupid question. Is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. I was locked into a future of diminishing returns. So coming here was the world's biggest midlife crisis. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Sarah, I'll let you know. Ryder. Hayes, how's the wound? Doc says I'll live. So, this goes from a life-threatening gunshot to a story I'll tell my grandkids someday. With no need to exaggerate. That was a tough fight on Habitat 7. <laughs> Just glad to be on the other side of it. Hi there. I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is... The hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. Excuse me. Your current location is Arc Hyperion. The Asari ship, Arc Lucinia, confirmed departure. That's the after Welcome, Pathfinder. Please select a topic. The Pathfinder, each the active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Scott Ryder. Presently, Archive here. All personnel should see their supervisors for updated task information. For more information, please visit the Nexus Administrative Offices. I'm Gian Garson. It's dark life and...
drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. All right, got all that out of the way. Where's Greer? Missed him the first time. Greer, how are you feeling? Grateful. If you and Liam hadn't found me in that cave, God knows what those aliens would have done. We couldn't leave a man behind. Yeah, your father and Kirkland. I know. It's rough. Being on the Pathfinder team is turning out to be a dangerous business. More than I ever thought. I'm sorry I'm not out there with you, but... Kirkland was a friend, and I'm not cut out for this anymore. Understood. Habitat 7 was a nasty wake-up call. You take care, Greer. You too. Thanks again. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, we're gonna save game quick, too. Is this option? I'm going to test something quick. Are these the only two places I can go? If I look up... No. Alright, let's do this. Hello Scott, welcome back to Sam Mood. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Okay. Just so long as it doesn't hurt. The only pain is that which life provides. As I've discovered, this can be a lesson in itself. It's one I'd rather avoid. So, where do we go from here? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Alrighty. Thanks. Oh, cool. Profiles allow Sam to reconfigure Ryder's implant for superior battlefield performance. Select a profile and press space to activate it. Invest in combat tech or biotic skills to unlock more powerful profiles in a variety of styles. Cool.
24 skill points invested in combat. Codex. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Yeah. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. 
So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment, and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences, and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. All right. I didn't want to do that. There was another uh, little bubble off to the side. Oh, okay, docking bay. So I don't think there's any more that I'm going to find here. Alright, so let's go check out my new ship. Um,
Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Sweet. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Got myself a ship. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. No calls available at this time. Well, fine then.
strike team ready for deployment. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen and keep any specimen safe. Cool, cool. I like how she's like telling you what everything is when you get there. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. She'll be ready to go when you are. We're almost out there. Finally. Hello. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. Okay. What we got in here? It's kind of cool. The lights turn on when you walk in. Interesting. No. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Ooh, I'm definitely going to. Oh, I can go up the ladder. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm pretty sure that's how you get out. Um, hey. Rider. Finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. Ready when you are. Alright, cool. How do I upgrade my stupid freaking weapons? Wow, look at all this. This ship is huge. What the... Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Crew info board. Go to the bathroom? Nope. A little shower, got some lockers. Got some little kitchen. Oh, hey, here we go. Galley supplies. Dehydrated chicken. Dehydrated Hyax stew. Dehydrated vegetable packets, soup and dumpling mix. Okay. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there too. Cool, cool. Oh yeah, wardrobe. Check it. Oh man, don't I look cool? Long sleeves. Short sleeves. Yeah, we'll go with the long sleeves. You know, I probably probably shouldn't make myself a red shirt. <laughs> oh man, can't believe I just made that joke. Um, I 
Uh, that's like a really neon blue. I made this red. And we make this blue. What? Oh. Not quite what I had. Right? That's kind of cool. We'll go with that. What? Oh, come on. Interesting. Okay, whatever. We're not gonna worry about that now. Hey, look, space map. Let's play that music. Here we go. Hey there, Sam. Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Email tournament. Hijack. Space monkey. <laughs> Freelance vid maker. Carrie Tavessa TV. Oh man. I'm gonna be historic, I hope, just like your mission. Can we meet on the Nexus for a chat? I can explain it better in person. Special delivery cash. Oh yeah. How much does it cost to respec? Twenty credits? Oh, that's actually not that bad. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but Excuse me. I need to make sure we have everyone's medical files from the Nexus. Come by after launch, and we can catch up properly. Alright, I'm stuck. Can I already come in here? Oh, yeah. One thing I'm going to do, because you could do it in a 
believe it was the original Mass Effect, is scan. Yep, scan the engine. Oh man. Alright, it's gonna take a while to get used to just like, where everything is in here. Strike team, oh, ready for deployment. Check this Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. I'll take any advantage I can get, even if it's exploring junk. Hey, with tech like this, it won't be junk for long. Not after we're through. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. All right, R&D terminal. Select research to unlock new blueprints and augmentations using the research data you've acquired. Select development to craft new items and upgrades. Select development to craft equipment and nomad upgrades using blueprints you've researched and materials you've gathered. Alright, so. Cyclone assault rifle, charger SMG. Spend research data earned from scanning to unlock new weapons and armor blueprints. Um, or to gain access to powerful augmentations. Oh. Each research category has different research data. Milky Way, Helios, and Remnants. Let's switch categories with Q&E, blah, blah, blah. Select a blueprint or augmentation and hit space to research it. Black Widow Sniper Rifle. Oh, man. The Asari Sword. That's pretty sweet. Grogan Hammer. Can't, can't do any of those. Sandstorm assault rifle. Lot of stuff. Okay, it's development do. Learn more about the materials required to craft each blueprint. Visit the research screen to unlock new blueprints. Oop. No blueprints available. Unknown special items. Okay. Strike team machines. Hey. Buy sell kiosk. Could buy an Omni Blade, but Okay, I wanna know how do I put Hey What? What do you want?
Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. I want to add my mods to my weapons. How do I do that? That is the question. Hey. What, Liam? Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gill reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. I never planned to be Pathfinder. I don't know what's out there. But we're the Milky Way's best and brightest. We can do this. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. I'm picking up something. An anomaly has been detected. How does this work? Is 
Zhang He, progression 16%. I don't know how this works. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. I found something. All right, we're just going to go back to the Nexus. I'm going to pick up my space monkey. I'm going to agree to the interview with the news lady, and then we'll be done for the night. I mean, I really want to keep playing, but it's uh, like a quarter to two, and I have class at 8 a.m. So. Unfortunately, I have to go. I was hoping to be able to just play this constantly over spring break, but didn't have didn't have a motherboard. So that's a thing. Plus I can check out the docking bay a little bit, which I didn't get to do. Oh, that just returns you to the Tempest. Oh, he can't go through that door. Okay. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Sure. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Marks are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Don't. Keeping tabs on things back here? Yeah, I try to watch what's going on while we're away, but it's nice to check in person. Going well, I hope. As well as it can go with limited resources, yeah. Tiny steps.
Pathfinder. Nice to see you again. I've never seen you before in my life. Liar, don't buy from her. Here we are, one young Pijack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Kesh? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Alright. Oh. We'll just check to see if there's any other, like, side quest thingies. Sure. Let me know what materials you need and I'll find you something. That's a relief. Thanks for helping out. I owe you one. Need help? I just want to know how to put mods hey. on my weapons. I suppose I'll have access to those things once I find like more stuff. Nothing from you two? Okay. <sighs> Alright. Get in the Tempest, we'll just go to space and then we'll save. So I'll probably check out that uh, uh, Element Zero. Cloud uh, on Wednesday, so I'll, I will be streaming on Wednesday. Uh, we will, we shall continue this game. Uh, oh, hold on. Sir, Becca wanted you to check in when you can. Okay. Oh, email terminal. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I guess we'll talk to everyone. And Sophie then we'll be Anwar. done. Assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. Sixty pages. Will this be useful to my mission? It's extraordinary what we can learn from Dirt's profile, what lived and died here, how our own plants might fare. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. And it froze again. It goes. Hopefully it's saved when I got on the ship. <sighs> I just want to like get all of this like just blast stuff out of the way so I can just you know jump right into everything else and just go and I don't have to worry about going back and forth for all these like different side quests that like totally forgot about and everything so Well, I'm 
on the Tempest, which is a good sign. Kind of annoying that this likes to crash, though. Ryder, could we chat? Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a second. I'm gonna finish my conversation with Suvi, ah, even though she doesn't know I've already it's done so this. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and... Welcome to... Likewise. I've studied... If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. That's a lot of pages about dirt. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to... The Milky Way was... We're the one... I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there. With the guns and the danger and everything. <laughs> I'm good with guns and danger. I could teach you. And make sure you're okay out there. I appreciate the offer, but I'm happy where I am. Tinkering in labs. And, uh, in case you offered hoping to get to know me better, that's not gonna work. Oh, wow. I mean, I prefer to keep things professional. I understand completely. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Well, that kind of failed. <laughs> Uh, we'll check the email terminal quick. It's spam and is now quarantined. <laughs> Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp, like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian Ark missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? <laughs> All the more reason to find the others. <laughs> I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. There's other doors here. Here we go. Oh, 
plus 30% assault rifle stability, plus 20% assault rifle accuracy. I think we'll go with that one. Okay. Minus 10%. Very well. Combat Fitness 3. Okay. There we go. Got it. Now I'm happy, because I finally got my loadout stuff. Can I walk off the edge? Nope. Ryder, when you've got a minute, stop by the med bay. Okay. Research center development. I should. I should told you which ones were available. Biotic amplifier. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick, though, like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with a sorry? <gasps> There's my monkey. Sound my monkey. PC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry, sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit, one of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were a second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way. And I meant it. But... I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. 
Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. <laughs> Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Anything else to say then? Hi there. Yep, I what guess did you so. What you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Callia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory, while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. It was time to forge my story and my horizons. And to give Sarah a shot at making the discovery of a lifetime. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? <laughs> After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. <laughs> See you later, Cora. I'll be here. All right. Oops. Looks like our Pijack friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. All right. Let's see what we got up here. Ah, I keep forgetting that you have to hold it. I'm in the armory. 
Oh, uh, cool. Thanks for that. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, this is the most important part of the ship. Whoa, don't tell me they put someone smart in charge for a change. I am at your command. <laughs> Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Where it came from, right? Yeah. Okay, here's a question. How do you get in there? Do these doors open? What's the point? Yeah, I don't want to go there. Look at my room. Nothing in here, but look at it. Okay. Um, right, here's the med bay. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. <laughs> we all have off days. <laughs> I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. That was good Focus one. on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I had no idea. I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um... Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically, without distractions. Am I distracting? 
Not nearly as much as you think you are. <laughs> but we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Whoa, what? why'd you just... It's like leapfrog. Is he playing hopscotch over here? What's going on? I already read that. Uh, anything to scan in here? Nope. Yes? I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this trigger. It unlocked a memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. So how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Alrighty. I'll talk to someone. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... <laughs> so I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Guild prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. There's always more to talk about right at the end. Need something? Need something done? You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked, and she told me about the Initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. 
You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You're pretty familiar with the ship. I made sure the technicians had what they needed to keep the Tempest ready and waiting. Leadership wanted to strip her for parts, but I kept saying, a Pathfinder's gonna show up. I like being right. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? <laughs> right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I put it behind me after Dad's work went sour. It was a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. When I started with the Alliance, it was about adventure. But with my dad's troubles, staying wasn't going to work. I needed something new. But if I wanted to get away, it had to be this far. Gotcha. Clean slate. Classic. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered, you've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Pathfinder. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right, I was a bad student. Piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie frustrated by procedure? That's overdone. <laughs> I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That might have been too much to leave. 
It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical, on a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I already did all this. spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Alright, and I think that brings us to the end of today. I've been streaming for six hours, and I'm tired, and I have class in five and a half hours. So, um, yeah, so if you made it all the way through, I applaud you. Kudos. Uh, but thanks for staying. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, go ahead and follow me. Click the follow button down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, because I upload all of my streams and all of my broadcasts to YouTube, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Comment down below as, le as well if you want to. Um, yeah, follow me on twitter uh at mythical malice so same same name there and uh yeah so hopefully you guys had a good time and i will s catch you all next time see ya